this. It's a great question from Gary. And he says, Dr. Tom, so many like to argue that gluten is not the issue, but the pesticides that are used. They use the argument that we've been eating gluten for generations without issue. How do you re refute health experts insisting this? Well, um, it's a limited view. Um, uh, th those experts just haven't read enough diversity of studies. There's no question what they're saying is true. There's no question of, of course, pesticides are a problem. Of course, it makes the problem worse. But um, the, it's called loss of oral tolerance. Now, everyone has a problem with wheat when they eat it, whether they feel it or not. Everyone gets intestinal permeability within five minutes of eating wheat. Once it gets into the small intestine, within five minutes, just read the science, it's really clear. But Mrs. Patient, we have an entire new body every seven years, every cell in your body regenerates, every cell. Some cells are really quick, like the inside lining of your guts every two to three days. Some cells are really slow, but every cell regenerates. So when you eat wheat, you tear the lining of your gut, but it heals, fastest growing cells in the body. So you have toast for breakfast, you tear it, but it heals. Sandwich for lunch, you tear it, but it heals. Pasta for dinner, you tear it, but it heals. So it tears for everyone. Everyone has this problem with wheat, but you heal. So you don't get any symptoms from it until one day you don't heal anymore. When you don't heal anymore, the technical term is loss of oral tolerance. And when you lose oral tolerance, that's why I differentiated earlier. I never say everyone should give up wheat. I say everyone should be tested to see if the immune system says you got a problem. Because when you lose oral tolerance, now the immune system gets activated and you're making antibodies to fight wheat. Now you've got a problem with it, right? So that mechanism occurs for everyone. So everyone has a problem with wheat. Now the issue of pesticides and insecticides, and GMO foods, and glyphosate. They create much more inflammation and stress in the gut. So yes, they fuel the fire so that you lose oral tolerance earlier, right? So if I'll, I'll just make up a number. You know, some, somebody, their lifestyle, they're, they're, they're getting X amount of assault coming into their gut, X amount of assault, their body handles it fine. The immune system says, oh, it's fine, it's not a big deal. And then one day they cross that line, there's more assault. Now your immune system wakes up and starts fighting it. You just lost oral tolerance. 